That person's standing there. We have a pair of white gloves. Bro, this freaks me out knowing that people are buried in the walls right now. And the last letter is an F. D-N-I-F. So this doesn't look like a sketchy deal at all, but we just popped over the truck and we have a Jordan backpack that every drug dealer needs. There's three more things inside here. Just this little pocket here, the, the Jordan logo pocket. We're just about five minutes away from the first location. We manifested identity. We're on a street called Sixth Street. The place it's taking us to right now is called Spring Garden. It's on the side of town that I don't visit. <laughs> East side Windsor represent. Four minutes away, there's a trail on our right. We got my sister Penguina behind the camera. Hola. So what are you manifesting, Cam? Uh, we manifested identity. And like I, this was a very personal one because me and a lot of other people I can imagine, but um, I've been going through a huge identity crisis in the year 2020, last year. Horrible year for everyone. But for 2021, this year, we're gonna be manifesting identity because I want, I want Rando Nautica to show me what my identity holds because I'm not gonna lie, huge identity crisis lately. It says we're three minutes away from the location. Do you guys ever just drive down your town and see these houses and you're thinking like, man, I never even knew these places existed. I didn't even know this place was a thing. All these people are in houses and all these houses have their own stories. It's crazy. Everybody's going through their own stuff right now. I'm just excited to see what my identity holds for this year and the oncoming years. So we're gonna have to make a left at the, not the next street, not the one afterwards, but there's a street coming up called Lansing, 400 meters away. So it's Lansing Road, a no exit road. Oh, okay, great. Um, <laughs> no exit, all right. You know what? We've seen worse. We've, we're near houses right now. Oh dear, this looks really dark. It's really dark. There's not a single street light in sight. We're on those places right now that like seem like someone's gonna point a gun at us and say like you're in the wrong neighborhood fam. The good news is there's no good news right now. <laughs> it's dark and it gets darker. We looked at the location and it seems like it's a dead end. Oh great. Um what do we manifest? Identity? Great. <laughs> dead end. <laughs> dead end. <laughs> It was a 20 meter radius, which is a short radius, and I'm thankful for having a short radius right now. But my question is, why is the road getting so thin? Okay. Okay, all right. We're almost at the last location, but to be honest, it's a house. These are Canada flags here, man. There's Canada flags up on these houses. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna make a Yui. Um. What did we manifest? Identity. Identity. What so, if like we about to lose our identity? And that's right the now? thing. It took us right to the location that Random Nautica manifested for us. Let's get out of the car. Let's get out of the car. I'm down. I'm gonna put turn my car around so we have a, <laughs> uh, an escape route. Straight up the woods. To be honest, even the reverse cams right now, bro, they're all dusty. I can't. I don't even have any preview with the reverse cameras. Oh man, I hope no one's on the road. I hope no one's gonna be on the road. This is mad scary. Okay, we're gonna just take a look here for like a couple seconds to see if we're gonna find anything. I'm not gonna go onto anybody's property. I do have a flashlight with me right now. I got this in my dark web mystery box. If you guys haven't seen that, if I try to remember, something just popped up on the top right of the screen. This flashlight's gonna help us a lot significantly. I'm gonna turn off my high beams so no one gets mad at us because we are, it looks like a neighborhood. Behind us is a trail. Um, I can't see anything behind me. To be real, like I have this flashlight, this flashlight here, yes it is a, flashlight and this flashlight's gonna significantly help us if anybody comes approaching because we can definitely see them with, the, with this thing you know so um let's go check it out where's the trunk button trunk button trunk button Seattle be fire. What? It's okay. The car light turned off. I'm gonna leave the car light on. That's fucking scary.
Honestly, I'm a little scared. What? I'm a little scared. You're a little scared? <laughs> yeah. I'm scared. <laughs> like, I'm legit scared. Stand here, stand here. Okay. Yeah. Hold this. Okay. Keep, keep an eye out. I will, I will. Okay, listen, we manifested identity. I don't know what happened to my car. I don't know what happened to my car. It's not turning off. The, the, literally, I'm getting problems right now. The brake mitigation system is completely destroyed, completely broken. I don't know what the heck just happened. <laughs> I don't know. This is the weirdest thing ever. My trunk's not opening. Trunk, trunk button. No, trunk's not popping. The trunk's okay, literally locked. Now, bro. Like, oh, we just got locked out of my trunk. I don't even know what the heck that means. A rock path. Two paths diverged into one. I took the path less taken. Robert Frost. Huh? It's a it's a poem. So after that first location, I don't know exactly what happened, but my car completely malfunctioned. All the tech aspects of my car completely malfunctioned. I couldn't see any turning signals. I couldn't get the trunk open in my car. I couldn't do anything that required a button and technology. Like basically, like I said, the turning signals weren't coming up. It was not as safe to drive as another car. So we went and picked up my sister's car right now. We're on to location number two right now. Location number one didn't go so well. Location number two, we manifested hacker, hacker. So back from the first cutaway, we're gonna go ahead and manifest the next location with the Randonautica app. We just quickly stopped the Starbucks. It's five minutes away from, from us, but it's 50 meters around. There is a parking lot. But that looks like a fence. Should I start driving there? Yeah, let's start. It brought me to a Catholic school. It actually just generated this location for us. That's the parking lot, that's the school. It's that way. Yeah, look, I'm pointing directly at it right now. It's actually that way. So it's a 50 meter radius. You wanna take a look around and see if we can find anything in a 50 meter radius? I'm gonna try not to get on the school property, but I am gonna take a look around the 50 meter radius because that location, that coordinate, it's inside the school, like actually inside the school. And you know, if we go inside the school at this time, um, I see jail cells in my future. So we're starting at the elementary school and um, and we're just gonna take a look around the coordinates. A light just shut off on us. I don't know what light that was, but let's get started by the fence. Let's check the fence line so we can go um, see if we can find something with the Randonautica app. The good news is we're gonna be cleaning anything that needs to be cleaned. That's the first thing. I think that's what we should say when we're going Randonauting and let's say a cop comes. We'll just say, you know, we're, we're tidying up the area. I should have brought a <laughs> garbage bag. I keep forgetting the rules of Randonautica. Oh, look at this. Well, they have a garbage bin here that's completely ruined. I'm gonna zip up my jacket. Hold on. I'm wondering if this is school property. Would this be considered school property? Totally. This is school property? That's a cool school property, I'm not gonna lie. Like to have recess here would be pretty f***ing lit, I'm not gonna lie. 50 meters away, so we're gonna, I'm just gonna start looking around. Um, right. You know what, you see those, those rocks over there? A lot of people seem like they sit there and uh, let's just go, let's go there for a second. A black truck making a right, okay, that's fine, we're good. So you see those rocks over there? Let's just go take a look at those rocks first because it looks like some people sit here. We're not gonna go too deep into the property. Literally just gonna see what people leave here after sitting down. Oh shit, I should've brought my flashlight. I, I, I Got gloves here. <laughs> Ironically, after looking for gloves, we've got a receipt here for what is this? We manifested my love life, and it's a receipt for Claire's. It's a receipt for Claire's jewelry store. Jewelry store. A pencil on the floor. A popsicle stick. I'm gonna pick all this garbage up. Don't stress it, guys. I'm just, you know, we do the first thing first, second thing second. Got a, got something on the floor here. Oh shit. <laughs> we got scrabble pieces we got scrabble pieces in front of a in front of a i don't even know if this is an elementary school i don't know if this is a secondary school i know it's a catholic school because you can see the the cross on the top over there but we found scrabble cold. let's go back in the car let's go see what this is oh we have to clean up first okay one sec i can't believe i just spent the last like, couple minutes cleaning this entire place up but anyways that's all for that location i literally just uh i picked up all the little trash i saw on the floor i took the bag of scrabble pieces so me and penguina could take it back to the car check out what the scrabble pieces are but that's all for this location i'm not gonna be staying here for far too long another piece of garbage over here all right all right so we have pieces of scrabble over here and it's a little dirty 
should I, should I wear some like latex gloves? I wish I had some latex gloves. The first thing that we're gonna pull outside, we have a glass. What? Okay, can you open this? Can you open this for a sec? Just get that thing out. I'm gonna take all these scrabble pieces out. Inside this first bag, what is that? What is that you're holding in your hand? Like letter in a bottle. You have longer nails than I do, so please get that out. So the first one we have, the letter D. I don't know if you guys can see this. A D, it had an N, an I, and the last letter is an F. D-N-I-F. Is that an acronym for something? D-N-I-F? Find. Find. Find! Oh shit, find! <laughs> I'm like, find! I'm like, what? Find! I'm, what are you talking about? It starts with a D. Oh my god, F-I-N-D. Find. Penguina. Thank you so much. So, oh, she got this thing open. Find. The next thing inside this little glass vial. Tattoos? Tatoes. Tattoos? I thought I said tattoos first. Don't blame me. You saw the smoke coming out, right? What the fuck? Yeah. That just drew me out. As I was doing that, literally smoke just started coming out of the top of that building. Just a heater. Yeah, but what? Who just turned it on? Anyways, I just want to get this finished and over with. So we have one more bag. And uh, so the first one said fine. This one said tattoos. Okay. All right. This one has one, two, three, four. This one has five letters inside it. This one has an S, an E, O, O, Hossy. <laughs> No, hose, you have to put the E over there. Hold on. Du, du, du. Hose with two S's. <laughs> Fine hose. <laughs> Fine hose. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the, uh, the letters were E, S, O, S, H. Fine hose. Uh, okay, but it's, well, what's this mean? Tattoos. Tattoos. Tattoos? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, tattoos. She's like, maybe they meant tatas. <laughs> Tattoos. This one here says hose with two S's and this one says find D N I F was the original letters and it was uh, this one has O E H S S if you do the math that spells find hose tattoos or find tattoos hose or find hose tatas <laughs> according to penguin <laughs> The location it's pulling us to on the map. Uh, it's just two minutes away 10 31 p.m Arrival and we're actually near the Devonshire mall right now in Windsor, Ontario I'm surprised there's usually a homeless dude chilling here. I always give him money. I don't know where he's at right now There's always like, this homeless guy here even during the nighttime Hope everything's okay. I'm still so bummed out about the car thing because it just says take the dealer take the dealer Like my turning signals on my car It was not appearing like that green arrow that keeps flashing on the, the dash that wasn't appearing on my car And there was just a huge problem with all the tech aspects of it completely Like I thought it was unsafe to drive for the nighttime and like I said We're just gonna go ahead and continue with number two We manifested hacker and we're just a couple of minutes from the location. We're waiting for the light to turn green Yo penguin have you ever gotten hacked before? Once I was chatting with a hacker on the dark web. That was an awesome video. You guys should check that one out But I was chatting with a hacker on the dark web and he literally like found out my complete identity He found out how much money I make per month down to the dollar like the hacker literally threw me the hell off He literally hacked my complete identity. He got all this like all this information off me. My first reaction to it was video <laughs> Video gotta do a video gonna go meet a hacker right now or that's what you're manifesting oh yeah well I manifested hacker I don't think I'm actually gonna bump into a hacker with Randonautica I was talking about how it works earlier it doesn't always bring you to exactly what you manifest but sometimes sometimes what you're manifesting could play like like there's a lot of stuff in the area you know like if you manifest the color gold it doesn't mean you're gonna see gold items it doesn't mean you're gonna find gold on the floor it can be very vague, you know? Think of double entendres, triple entendres. It can have double meanings, triple meanings, you know? Just about a minute away from the location. 10.33 arrival. Please, not another dark location. It literally feels like the exact same location we were going to. However, the difference is we have lights and electricity and a working car. And in here, we have to make a right into this parking lot. I can't and see it. hold up, we are at a chill. We're at an advanced urgent dental. This is not this, oh, it's this location. Krabby's. Krabby's. What's Krabby's. What's Krabby's? Wholesale Club. The Wholesale Club. Point it over here. It took us to the Wholesale Club. The, it's closed right now. This bar is a bomb bar. Crandon's. Is that the bar? You think it's taking us to the bar? By the way, the radius was about 200 meters. 
around the location. So 200 meters is kind of like a parking lot, right? Yeah, so the, what, what is this place called? Is that's a baby bottle right there. Called the lid shop or the the hid shop? What is that, H? Uh, hold on, let me turn out. Oh, yeah, it's the kids shop. Wow. The kids shop. There's a steak shop. There's an adult store. Ooh, la la. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm with my sister, guys. Why did you manifest this location? Like, damn it, Randall. The steak shop. Closed. <laughs> There's some fun items in there. Yo, the steak shop. You know what? I don't see this camera. <laughs> So this is the steak shop adult store. Some fire looking mannequins on the, it's like crypto, you into that? What the hell? I'm taking a camera with a big, big light on it, sitting in the car with my sister. And I am actually uh, sitting in front of the, the adult fun store. I thought it said film store. What it, uh, I thought that said film, but it says adult fun store. Anyways, I'm gonna get out of my car right now. I'm gonna take a look around the parking lot, parking like the center of the parking lot and just kind of, walk where the location was generated and just kind of walk around the line and see if we come across anything here since covid happened all these areas have been clean i've seen no dirt i've seen no like littering you know that's a good thing the end of the ozone layer is like opening up mr beast planted 20 million trees last year and like you know everything's all good now the usa has a new president it looks like everybody's happy so my phone's pointing in this direction if we turn my cell phone that's where the location is. That's where the coordinate is. Now we're pointing my cell phone at that location. So I was right. It's at the wholesale club. What we're going to do is we're going to, it says a 200 meter radius on Randonautica. And if you guys don't know what the radius means, it, it means like it's not exactly at this point, but it could be within the 200 meter radius of that exact location. We're going to start at the steak shop. They're closed. So I think we're allowed with the camera there because usually you're not allowed to have a camera in these type of places. Let's get it. <laughs> I've been random nodding tons of times on my channel. If you guys haven't seen it, I have a playlist that just appeared on the screen called the Randonautica playlist. So we manifested Hacker. We're in front of a place called Chill right now. <laughs> and I'm pretty chilly. I'm pretty chilly. Bro, these mannequins be looking fire today, bro. What is this? Kev, you need a girlfriend, bro. <laughs> no cap. <laughs> I literally see like 30 things that I got from my dark web mystery boxes inside here. Um, rubber penises. We're not gonna be showing that on camera, but we could show it on camera. We could blur it, we could blur it. Whoa, plus size models. I love it. Anyways, the adult sex shop is closed right now. I had my fun looking at the, the model mannequins. They're, they're looking pretty fire in 2020. Don't judge. You. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> this one likes holding balls. <laughs> I thought this would be quite interesting to point out, but the kid's shop, that logo is completely like lit up. And this one here says, the bottle. <laughs> it says, the bottle, because the eye from the kid's shop is just a bottle. But how weird is that? It's like, here's a kid's store and right beside it is the adult store. <laughs> they should look into that. They actually have these sexy mannequin models chilling beside there, like holding sex toys and stuff. And that's right beside a kid's store. They got to fix that. Somebody got to look into that. And don't forget chill. So we manifested hacker. Take a look at all the stores here and come to a conclusion yourself. What would a hacker, I see something over there. Right there. What is it? Hairbrush. Oh, to make me my glass. <laughs> Hello. Oh, shit, the light from the camera. <laughs> Did you just find that on there? Don't put it on your eyes. COVID no, I'm food. not touching it. I'm not touching it. We have a magnifying glass I've here. I've always wanted to do that. You feel like you're not gonna do it now, but ladies and gentlemen, we have a magnifying glass here that we just found while rando nodding. We manifested hacker, brought us to this is the middle of the parking lot. I'm gonna keep looking around at the it took us to the wholesale club there. That's where the exact coordinate was. It looked like it was inside the building. It is nighttime now. Randonautica videos are better at night. So we're not gonna, obviously we can't go in there right now. That's called breaking and entering. <laughs> so I'm not gonna, I'm definitely not gonna be going inside there right now, even though the coordinates inside, but we are working with the 200 meter radius. Penguin, would you say that this customer parking only with this magnifying glass here is within 200 meters of wholesale club? Yeah, totally. 
All right. Cheese wheels. Oh, that's actually the best pizza in Windsor. I'm not even saying that as an advertisement. I swear cheese wheels is like, the, it's called, think about it. It's a wheel of cheese. It's pizza. It's amazing. It's beautiful. This works. Are you investigating? <laughs> no, I'm just seeing if it works. <laughs> we got a cigarette butt stop. Nice. I don't know why that matters. The problem with Randonautica, and it's like, picture this guy. You see this guy here? This is the same guy that unboxes dark web mystery boxes, pulls out a slap bracelet, and doesn't know exactly what it is until his audience craps on him. This same guy right here is standing in the middle of whatever and looking for something that has to correlate to a hacker. Doesn't a magnifying glass sort of do that? I don't think so. I don't know. I don't like, know. don't they need to magnify into your life? Nah. Okay, that's a reach. <laughs> like you manifest purple and you find something red and it's like, oh my god, red and blue make purple. Maybe, I don't know, if you guys can find a correlation with a magnifying glass and a hacker, let me know. Because like I said, we're gonna be standing here for hours. The world is a really detailed place. There can be billions of double entendres when it comes to hackers and nature. Take a look around. You'll take a look at a tree and you'll be like, oh, a hacker needs a tree of information to find you. Like anything could be correlated with a hacker. A shovel could be correlated with a hacker. Where'd you find a shovel? Oh, there it is. <laughs> But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's all for this location. We're gonna go back, head to the car, and manifest our next location. So we just manifested Hacker, and it took us to an adult store. It took us to the wholesale club, a nice parking lot, but we didn't find anything near the wholesale club. We found something in the middle of the parking lot. It was a magnifying glass, but that's all with that location. We're actually on to our next location. We manifested Spider, and it's saying it's taking us to Devon Woods Conservation Area. <laughs> Isn't that, like, isn't that a forest? It's, it's kind of like a forest. It's a woods. It's a trail, you know, but um, I was taking a look. I was zooming in in the location before we pressed go and it wasn't super far into the forest. So Penguin, are you down to go inside? Yeah, it's I nighttime. Can. It's nighttime. This is the I thing. I'm so sorry to tell you this Penguin, but listen, we switched cars and everything, right? Guess what I forgot in the last car? What'd you forget? I forgot the, the flashlight baseball bat. Oh no, we're yeah. gonna protect ourselves. Uh, we, well, you have your flashlight, we have your little flashlight, but this is metal too. This here can actually do quite some damage. It is still a flashlight, it works, but it's not as beastly as the baseball bat flashlight. But I'm actually, we manifested spiders, and the reason why we manifested spiders is because I actually genuinely have a huge fear of spiders. My audience knows this, you know, I have an arachnophobia. An arachnophobia? Arachnophobia. <laughs> an arachnophobia. It's arachnophobia. It's basically a severe fear of spiders. Like sometimes you can't hit them, sometimes you only kill them, sometimes you like can't touch them, sometimes you can't look at them. I'm almost all of the above. I manifested spiders because to be honest, I kind of want to scare myself a little bit right now and I kind of want to get over my fear of spiders. You know, they say exposure therapy. If you expose yourself to stuff you're scared of, then you can probably get over it. She loves spiders. Oh my god. Her check out her video on her channel, her random nautica video. We manifested I forgot what what do we animals. manifest? We manifested animals. And if she found like seven spiders, six spiders, and she was like about to pet them. I never saw her the same ever again. Sorry, penguin. <laughs> For the people that don't know, I call my sister Penguin. Everybody called her that since she was growing up. I'm saying this again because there's a lot of new subscribers onto the channel. And she has literal toy penguins on the dash of her car. My babies. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a cop. Put away. So, yeah, a cop just pulled up beside us, and Penguin doesn't know how to shut the light. And I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying so hard not to laugh right now. The light's flashing at me. Penguin, flash the light down. Flash the light down. There's a f cop beside us. It's not illegal to flash your light in the car. It's not illegal. It it's might, not. It might be like obstruction of vision. No, it's not. But that's the thing. It's on my side. Like, you know. It's not illegal. Like, think about these lights in the car. Why the hell do these exist? What, for the daytime? No, it's for the nighttime. Hey, is he gone? Yeah, he's Yeah, you know, no, we made a left and he went straight. But it's saying now we're three minutes away, 1.4 kilometers, we have to make a left onto, just says turn left, it doesn't even give me a street. Oh. That's, that's a little helpful. It's telling us to make a left onto, it, there's no name for the street. <laughs> so we manifested, Spider, there's no name to the street. Oh man, we should have manifested Joker because Joker doesn't actually like if for the people that are big fans of Joker, they know that Joker doesn't have a name. Like they named him Arthur Fleck in the new Joker movie, but the actual Joker doesn't have an identity, and real fans know that. And we're taking a left onto a street that doesn't have a name. We manifested Spider, but we should have manifested Joker instead of like the Spider-Man type of vibe, you know? 
I don't know, I love Spider-Man too, I'm not gonna lie. Can I change my manifestation? <laughs> no, spiders. I don't wanna see any spiders. Okay, so it says make a left here. It's like a U-turn. Take a look at this. The map, it's like a U-turn it wants us to make, which is odd. Because it's not a U-turn, it's a street that's diverging us away from the path we just came from. That's the way we just came from. It's taking us in. Where the hell? Oh my god, it's actually taking us to the woods. No. No, no, because look, it says it's right by the entrance of the trail. Look look over here. Look at the cat the thing. It's right by the entrance. That's where the coordinate took us. To pass it, though. This is it. This is it. Devon Wood Conservation Area. So now, point the camera inside here. Now, the radius we're working with. is 150 meters. That's what Rando Nautica told us. We have to work with 150 meter radius right now. So we're gonna park up the car. Me and Penguin, oh my God, that's a f What is that? It's a, it's a cat, it's no, a, it's a cat, it's a cat, it's a cat, it's a cat. Look at his eyes, it's eyes, it's eyes. It's a cat, it's a cat, it's a cat. It's a skunk. It's a, it's a cat. I know a pussy when I see one. <laughs> Bro, no, no, it's I a cat. The tail. It's a cat, look, 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 it's a cat, it's a cat. Trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me. It's a cat, 100 billion percent, it's a cat, look. Have? Billion percent. If that's a, a skunk, I ain't getting out of the car. It's a cat. Go it's check cat. it out. It's go check it out it's first. A fuck. Okay, fine. Okay, go check it out first. Okay, give me the camera. You know what? Give me this camera. Oh, point that camera at me. Good luck. Hey, kitty. It's a cat. I'm not scared of no cat. Kitty. Oh, I think it's a skunk. I actually smell a skunk. <laughs> I actually smell a skunk. Okay, you know what? It's a skunk, right? It's a skunk, I see. I told you. Oh, his ass is coming back. Oh, no, no, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's, not, it's, it's a not, skunk, it's bro. A cat, bro. I trust me. Trust me. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm scared. It's okay, bro. I thought we were here to see spiders. So we arrived at the woods, and the coordinate, it said 150 or 200. Oh, my God. This person's coming in here. No is way. he? Is he? Is he? He is. It's okay, we're just pretending we're looking for something. Ladies and gentlemen, we manifested spider and we actually showed up at the conservation area. There's, I don't want Penguin to point the camera at them, but there's a car right behind her right now, like a white pickup truck type of thing. And kind I just want to, it's kind of sus, it's kind of sus. And like, like it's right behind her. I'm going to try taking this camera. This camera is really f dark right now, but I'm going to try pretending like I'm doing a full perspective shot and I'm going to try to get him on camera. White car, the pickup truck, the white pickup truck. It's a white pickup truck. I hope you guys saw that. If not, I'll try doing as much boosting to the footage as I possibly can. The coordinate, it was inside the parking lot. Like it literally took us to within the parking lot. Once you turn into the parking lot, the coordinate's like right there. So thank goodness it's not into the conservation area and it's only 150 meters. So it could be in there because 150 meters that can be deemed as it. Uh, we're yeah. gonna take a look around the parking lot first and I'm gonna come back to you if we find anything. So ladies and gentlemen, we took a look around the entire parking lot. Me and Penguina took around the parking lot. We did like a very vague look because it's kind of cold right now and we didn't really find necessarily anything. So we are going to go into the woods, just not too much, not too much because it's only 150 meters. And to be honest, um, we don't want to come into like any skunks. We don't want to bump into any people. She's scared of Michael Myers. It's a fictional character, Penguin. But anyways, um, we have, we're at a place right now called Devonwood. Oh, look at this. They have doggy bags here, but there's no more of them. Garbage bin. Oh my god, a bat! Oh my god! Penguin! Oh my gosh, Kev. What is that? A Jordan backpack! <gasps> a Jordan backpack! Oh, that's really nice. Here, here, hold it's kind of torn up, it's kind of- Then people are watching us, eh? What? The, 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 They're the, watching us? The, the truck people. What do you think, we should go? Let's just take it. Just take it? I don't know, what do you think? I'm tripping. We didn't find any spiders! We what if there's spiders in there? It's a Jordan bag. Jordan's freaking Spider-Man, bro. Okay, well, let's get it. Let's get it. It's Spider-Man. It's Spider-Man. Those are, those are Spider-Man colors. Blue. The blue penguin. Pen penguin. Yeah. The blue. <laughs> it's red and blue. She's not a real Spider-Man fan, but we found a Jordan backpack. Let's go take this to the car. Let's take it to the car. All right, guys. What we just did is we just literally found a backpack right now. We're driving away from the location that we just found the backpack. We manifested spiders. Not Spider-Man. Penguin. Uh, but we manifested spiders and we found a Jordan backpack. To be real, I'm not going the 150 meters inside that park. I took the backpack and I ran. We haven't checked the contents of the backpack yet. Okay, we're on Howard right now. There's a mall coming up. We're going to go park up in the mall parking lot really quickly. And we're going to manifest our next location in that parking lot. But before we do that, we're actually going to go review the contents of the bag. Penguin, pop open your trunk. We're gonna pop open your trunk and then we're gonna kind of do a little review video type of thing. We're gonna review what's inside the backpack. 
from this random not oh my god i'm so excited probably gonna be but it's jordan back but probably just gonna be books and stuff it's probably just gonna be books i'm actually so shook but here's the thing if i find anything that belongs to anybody if i find like like this is a jordan backpack if i find any books or any like identification i'll go return the backpack within this video i'll cut to a part where i return the backpack to the person if there's any books within the bag if there's anything that this person genuinely needs needs i'll give the bag back to the person if i can find out who this person is here we'll go park inside this place I don't want, I, I genuinely don't want the bag. I'm just hyped that we found something. It's like Randonautica, some people think of it like urban exploration. That's what Randonautica is. People love to find stuff when they are urban exploring. So anyways, we're at a parking lot right now. We're parked in front of a Marshalls. Do, do you guys have Marshalls in the States? Let me know. It's kind of like winners. Do you guys have winners in the States? Let me know. <laughs> anyways, Penguin, let's get it. I popped open the trunk, let's get it. So this doesn't look like a sketchy drug deal at all, but we just popped open the trunk and we have a Jordan backpack, like every drug dealer's dream. Um, oh yeah, it's just a lunch bag. Yeah, it's just some... Oh, name, oh, there's no name. Classroom number, it's a kid's lunch. A kid has a Jordan backpack. A child. Anything interesting? That's a nice bag though, wow. Pencil sharpener. What is that? What is that? Dime bags. <laughs> this kid's a drug dealer. This, kid, this is actually a drug dealer right now. Oh my god, throw this away. Dude, can you get charged for dime bags? No, Ooh. I don't think it's a drug. Cat. No, 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 but it's it's paraphernalia possession. Like basically, you, they, like if you have any weed on you ever, and you have bags on you, they will charge you for selling. Is legal in Canada now. And if you're ever caught selling this without a license, huh, back to the bag. Freaking dime bags inside this guy's. What is this? Lest we forget. Lest we forget. Okay, bubble. It's nice. Lest we forget. That's actually. Oh, it's a. Oh wow. Don't open it. Little bag inside here. A protractor. Wow. There's three more things inside here. Just this little pocket here. The, the Jordan logo pocket. The main pocket. There is BJ Blast Oral Sec Candy. BJ Penguin. What the fuck? <laughs> Ew. We have a protractor. We have Ganja Guys Platinum OG Shatter. Okay, Kev, no, for real. What did we pick up? Platinum OG shattered. Oh my god, if we get pulled over right now, we're actually gonna get like thrown in jail. <laughs> oh my god, because like they, we have the dime bags, we have the freaking. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm actually gonna take a look at this. You can't show that. I'm gonna. I'm, hey, you don't even have gloves on. It's. It was literally sealed. I literally just opened the seal. That's that's the wrap. I just opened the wrap, penguin. Look, I just opened it. I literally just opened it. What is that? Shatter, Penguin Shatter. You don't know what Shatter is? I'm always on the dark web and whenever I'm ordering mystery boxes, literally every single time there's other substances they sell on the deep and dark web. One of the substances they sell is cannabis and cannabis is loaded, riddled on the deep and dark web. They have all forms of it. So we can get the F out of here before we get booked. <laughs> oh look, we're at a party city. <laughs> ADD. Anyways, cool. but like I was saying, it's basically purely the stuff inside, like, you know, the green stuff, the green weed, like the buds, the chemical that gets you like cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, it's called THC. That's in, that's pure, 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 that stuff. Throw this shit away, bro. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Uh, anyways, we're going to take this bag and just chuck this bag all in the trash right now. In a parking lot? Man, dude, there's too much cameras here. Let's too go. Too many get... cameras, bro. Yeah. We're at a mall right <laughs> no, Let's get now. the hell out of here. Let's get the hell out of here. So me and Penguin, we were driving and we saw a donation place and we thought like, hey, why don't we just like, you know, those like donation bins? We we decided to put it in one of those donation bins and she got so pissed at me because she wanted the bag. So we basically donated the bag, threw away the bag, whatever the heck you want to call it. Some people think donating is throwing away. Actually, I used to work at a donation place and like, I, I think it's all for good cause. There's some companies that, you know, you donate to them and then they take the item and they put it on their sales floor and they sell it for profit and then they basically take like a very 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 small portion of that and then they donate it to people in need donation place is supposed to be a non-profit organization meaning like they're not supposed to profit at all I don't want to say any company's names some people know them but they're they are partnered with non-profit or organizations and they give the non-profit organization just enough money so they don't make a profit but the main company keeps every dollar for themselves I don't know some people think of donating as throwing away some people don't but um, we donated the Jordan bag and we manifested Dybbuk. Penguin, do you know what a Dybbuk is? Yeah, I've watched your videos. They're like evil boxes. <laughs> it's so, that's a great explanation for people that don't know what a Dybbuk is, but Dybbuk means demon. 
box means box. Dybbuk box means demon inside a box. So I've done tons of Dybbuk box videos, Dybbuk box openings on my channel. If you guys haven't seen them, um, I hope I can have enough cards to fit in this video, but another card just popped up on the screen. I, all my Dybbuk box videos, I do them live every Friday if I have them. Check out the live streams, by the way. But we're manifesting Dybbuk, and I thought Dybbuk would be a really interesting manifestation to bring through because I'm not manifesting Dybbuk box, I'm manifesting demon. Basically in Jewish. I'm pretty sure Dybbuk is how you say demon in Jewish. I think that's wrong. You can fact check me down below. The good news is I'm in the recognizable part of the city. Penguin, do you recognize this area? East side. East side? That's good news. Uh, even though we forgot the big flashlight baseball bat, I don't think I even want to use it in this part of the town because these people are all cool. These people are all nice. When you're in the west side, you kind of want to pull out a couple of those baseball, I mean flashlights to help you with whatever problem you need help with, you know? So. You left it in your car. RIP to your car. Yeah, my God. I'm so bummed out. I'm actually so bummed out about that. The good news is the car drives absolutely fine. It was driving perfectly, except the, just the left turn signals and the right turn signals and all the other tech crap was a miss with it but the good news is it just said take it to your dealer it didn't say like hey buddy get a new car <laughs> so it's kind of just like an error message you know nothing too crazy the person beside us is like a fucking every, they just have to see what the, what they were doing what's that light what's the light listen nothing bothers me more in the world than nosy people oh like i mean yeah there's a it's nighttime yeah there's a bright light flashing in my face right now <laughs> but mind your own business don't look at my car <laughs> my sister's car mind your own freaking business man the location is Close. It's close. I have to make a left onto what? Cypress? Cypress Avenue. Alright. Okay, so Penguin. Penguin. In front of us. Actually straight directly in front of us. It's not like no, we don't have to do no super turns. We don't have to go deep inside anything. It's just a nice little path. That right there, you see that brown thing? That's called a Canada Post mailbox. Means that there's civilians around here. <laughs> there's society around here. We shouldn't be scared because there's a Canada, people come here all the time. I'm gonna take my car and make it look like I'm getting something from the mailbox. Ha, huh, genius. Penguin, we manifested Dybbuk. That means demon. We are going to a body of water right now. Um, are you worried at all? Because I'm not. Recognizable area. Are you worried? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> totally not worried. But anyways, without any further hesitation, let's go check this place out. So the good news is right behind me, it's just a straight little path. You can see on my phone. Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah. So you can see on my phone, it's just a straight little path. We got to walk up this trail and we are working with a 75 or 175 meter radius. So let's take a look at around this location to see if we find anything regarding to Dybbuk. Oh boy. Manifesting a Dybbuk box and coming to a place called Swan Pond. Swan Pond. Just check around, see if there's Michael Myers anywhere. You and you are Michael Myers. Okay, so we walked down into the trail. Someone's walking towards your car. Lock the door at least. It's in my pocket. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So you can see, like, we're on a pathway right now. We're standing on the pathway. And um, right in front of us, towards the body of water, it's telling us to go there. So let's go take a look. Please be careful. This is pretty like steep. Don't fall into the water. Anyway, Penguin, follow my trail and I'll make sure you don't fall. Okay. This is actually one of the first times in any of my Randonautica videos where I got Penguin to come deep into the <laughs> deep into the trails with me. What if there's some like wild animals like mountain lions or something? Mountain lions. <laughs> We're just a few meters away, and it was only 175 meters. Can you see me, penguin? Oh, I can see you. Good. All right. This is actually. Oh my God! There's something there. There's what? Something there. Where? What? Kev, please. What is it? What is penguin, it? Penguin. What? Well, penguin, what do you see? There's a pill bottle here. Penguin. I'm not touching that. I'm not touching it. What is it? What is it? Point the camera at it. What is it? Mm -hmm. Oh man. Yeah, that's pill bottle, right? Oh, that literally like like that that. This uh, container reflected right off my freaking light. Mm -hmm. I saw that from like a, like at least ten, five. I saw that from like right there. What? Like freaking... Shh, shh. 
fuck out of here. Yeah, please. Yeah. Don't grab you it. You're that right? Get yourself killed Something fell. Your wallet. Hang on, did anybody come into the car? No. Is anybody coming to the car? No, but I heard footsteps. I, I, did you see that person standing there? I've never ran so fast since I was like in grade nine. So we just finished with that location and that one was absolutely messed up. We just saw like one dude there that he had like white gloves on, like some sort of like Michael Jackson type of white gloves. In. He was chilling at the location. And he was waving his hand like this at us. I've never seen anything like that in my life, but we're actually going to another location, our final location with Random Nautica. We are going to be manifesting credit because to be real, I think we all... After the last year that we just experienced the absolute horror fest of last year, I think we need some some extra credit. <laughs> some extra credit or some further credit or some people need to boost up their credit scores, you know, who knows. But we're manifesting credit and it's taking us to a place called Sand Point Beach. Now, usually the name has a entendre with it, but I don't know about this case because Sand Point Beach credit, I don't really see any correlations there. For example, like me and Penguin will manifest water and it will take us to a place, a place on Little River. <laughs> like, you know, Little River, all these other places that are like water related. Take a look at this. What is that? Stop 26. What do we manifest? We manifested... Credit. Credit. Stop 26. It's not here at this location. We still have a couple more. This is it? Oh, yeah, we have not this left turn, but the next left. I really want a big, fat Big Mac right now. I want a seven layer Big Mac, two of them, <laughs> right now. I want french fries. With small fries, yeah, I want a small fries on the side. And ice cream. But actually, we're here, we're here, we're here. We found a couple of cars, whoa. A few parked cars here. You see the cars? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll go park behind them. We get we get the upper hand, you know. You know what I mean? No, no it's nah, I mean. Nah, I mean. Finally arrived at this location. It's kind of dark. Anyways, uh, ladies and gents, we're inside this parking lot right now. We're actually in that parking space with the two unexisting cars beside us. And it wants us to go to Sandpoint Beach near the water. Good news, I have boots on, she has boots on. We, we're gonna go urban exploring today and uh, we both put boots on. So we're gonna go ahead to Sandpoint Beach and we're gonna see if we could find anything that relates to credit let's go get this started all right so ladies and gentlemen uh took us to sandpoint beach i'm not so excited right now not excited at all there's a playground there on our right got the little flashlight to pop up <laughs> anyways we're gonna take a look at sandpoint beach and see if we find anything see if we come across anything jaywalking at its finest the beach is closed of course it is and look where it took us to, Penguin. It took us to a freaking playground. Of course. <laughs> Rando freaking Nautica. Every time we use the Rando Nautica app, we got a big tree that swings. No smoking on the swing because all kids smoke. Bro, I'm so salty. They actually took down the swing sets. Is this all because of COVID? Yeah, that's pretty Shh. salty. I heard that too. I'm gonna pull out my phone to see what the is. We're just gonna try to find a way into the beach. It's a little bit more this way, like. What is that right there? What is that? Hand sanitizer. It says nice free gift with purchase 2020. What is that? Looks like a fucking vibrator from a dark web box. <laughs> oh, oh, we got a paper here. What? Assessment center. COVID assessment center. Call to make appointment. <laughs> it's freaking COVID-19 in a bay. What do we manifest? What do we manifest? Put it down. Put it down. What if it's infested? Oh my God. What do we, what do we manifest? What do we manifest? What do we Credit. Manifest? What? Credit. 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 Oh yeah, I got extra credit for right? That's an extra credit of COVID. Oh my God, it's nasty. Let's take a look at this coordinate. Let's go see if we're gonna find anything at this coordinate. But anyways, we just left that over there. Uh, we're gonna go walk to the coordinate right now. We're walking this way towards, I hope you guys can see it, but there's a coordinate. There should be a coordinate popping up. It's behind us. Yo, the water's really peaceful. I realize I'm the loud one. I got some things to think about. <laughs>
Are you ready? Yeah. That looks like a freaking noose to kill people. What the hell? What? <laughs> oh my gosh. That looks like a freaking noose. Oh, that ain't right. This looks like war bags, like sandbags in war. That they used to use in the trenches and shit. Is that for real? Kev, is that for real? What? Is that for real? No, Windsor is very historic, by the way, but maybe someone else in the comment section probably knows what that's for. Penguin, take another look at it. That looks freaking eerie from far. Yeah, that's that's a little freaky. Credit. Oh, what guys, we have a totem pole here. You've never seen a totem pole in person. What is that? A totem pole is basically a pole of faces made by like natives, and each person makes a face. Like each historic person makes a face. This person made a face here. That's another face. That's another face. That's another face. Basically, it's a pole of faces. A totem pole. It's absolute. This is nice. I've never seen a totem pole in my life. Can you see that on camera? I can. When you flash the light on it. Look at this. Wow. We found a totem pole. We manifested credit. Guys, now here's the thing. I know what a totem pole is. It says tokes on here. <laughs> I thought I heard something. And a bench. Let's see where the coordinate is. We're too far from the coordinate. The coordinate's a little this way. The thing is, we're working with a 15 meter radius. The exact coordinate we manifested, it's only within 15 meters. That's why we gotta walk exactly to the coordinate right now. We're not gonna take a look around 100 meters. The totem pole, I'd say, I'd say this is 17 meters near the coordinate. So let's just go take a look here. Wait. They're all seashells. Wow. Those are all seashells. We are on the water side right now. Right down that way is the United States of America. By the way, congratulations on your new president. By the way, I just wanted to show you guys. These are all shells on the floor. Hang on. Those are all, look, all of that shells. All of these shells, literally what was that? shells. Point the light again. They're like sharp, by the way. These are like, if you wore, wow, look at this. Hello? Kev. Hello? Where? That person's standing there. Yo, let's get out of here. Oh, he's a flashlight too. Penguin, I'll do penguin on here. Go, 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 I hear a flashlight too. Did you see a flashlight? I didn't see a flashlight. I didn't see a light. I didn't see a flashlight. All right, so all of my cameras died as we we're about to go to the last location. So I'm using my cell phone to record this right now. But before I started recording, I generated the next location and we manifested terror. Obviously, Randonautica decides to take us to a cemetery. Take a look on the screen. Tell me what that looks like. Does that look like a cemetery? Penguin, tell me. Does that look like a cemetery? Yes, it does. So we're going to go ahead and travel to this location. Penguin's going to drive and I'm, she's going to park up. I'm going to go and check out what's inside the cemetery i'm gonna bring my cell phone i'm gonna bring a flashlight let's see what we can find at a cemetery after manifesting terror i think we're gonna find a lot of terrifying things there the thing is cemeteries are not overall scary it's actually some people might look at death like it's not the worst thing in the world you know some people might look at it like it's the scariest thing they don't want it to happen to them they don't want it to happen to the people around them but firefighters or like other type of like heroes for example they put other people's lives before themselves you know so like but we manifested terror and it took us to a cemetery uh people are scared of cemeteries i'm kind of scared of cemeteries but we're gonna go see if we can find anything there. It's just a cemetery. What could go wrong? Yeah, oh my god. Over here. Gated. Gated? Oh, yeah. it's right here. Oh, oh, oh baby. <gasps> oh, I just crapped my pants. Oh, I just crapped my pants. Okay, I'm gonna take, I have to take a look at the coordinate. I have to take a look at the coordinate. Oh my god. Okay, so the coordinate is more center. Go right here. Okay, penguin, I'm scared. Me too. Yo, you know what bothers me? It's such a packed cemetery. It's populated here. Okay. What's this? Water. It's a water pump. 
Rest in peace, guys. Wow, look at that tree. The tree looks like it's scarred up, man. That's a nice little one. Let's move forward. Ladies and gentlemen, we manifested terror. This light just went off. I saw that. I saw a light just go off on us. I saw a light just go off on us. There's a... But it's... We're in a gated community right now. This is what they used to, I'm assuming, bury? Run? Yeah. Or dig the hole. Or dig the hole, yeah. Should I go right? Yeah, go right. And then stop. Stop right in between these trees. Yeah. Okay, we're near the coordinate. Imagine living in one of these houses. Yeah, my question is, like, what if you lived in one of these houses? You go in your backyard and you see this. My question is, are these houses cheaper? Alright, so Penguina left me by myself. Oh sh Okay, we're just gonna walk to the coordinate. It was a 80 meter in loving memory of Peter. 1986 to 1886 to 1969. Wow. That's a tombstone. Oh, this is shaking me up. Oh, someone's here. Someone's inside. Someone came in. Someone came in. Someone came in. I literally just saw a car pull in. We manifested terror. McDonald Fox. These small tombstones get me, bro. Look at this. What the heck? Maybe I shouldn't be standing here. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to the morgue. Bro, this freaks me out knowing that people are buried in the walls right now. Buried in the walls, uh, placed in the walls. Rest in peace to everybody here, man. I hope I don't see anybody. I hope I don't come across anyone. Oh, you see the cops? You see the cops? You see the cop lights? That dude's low. nice oh what the hell we found a pair we have a pair of white gloves here ladies and gentlemen we have a pair of white gloves I'm gonna take them bro my biggest question is like the houses, the freaking houses. We have... <laughs> we have a globe! <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, we found a globe on the floor. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all for this video. With that last random Nautica exploration, we found a little globe and we found a pair of white gloves on the floor of a cemetery. If you guys still think you should download this app even after all of that, then go ahead and download the app. However, I don't suggest it anymore. I do really believe that random Nautica is spying on us. But if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Put on the notification bell and you'll be notified whenever I upload a video on the channel. And smash that like button to help this video out with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you guys so much. I will see you in the future. And remember, don't try. Randonautica alone.